Hi girls, it's Thursday. I'm gonna apologize in advance if you hear like weird jingling and dog sounds because the dogs are being dogs. Um, this week is my topic and we get to show a little love to the girl that comes after us and I'm excited because I have the privilege of talking about Samantha, um, someone I've known a very long time. Um, so I have a few things to say about Samantha because I love a lot about her. But the first thing that I love about Sam is that the second you meet her, and I mean the second you meet her, you feel like you've known her forever. She has the ability to just start talking to you and having this conversation as though you hang out every day. Like, this is totally normal. Um, and, you know, part of that is that and Samantha talked about this when we were talking about the validity of online friendships that for her um, and for all of us, um, her best, you know, a lot of her best friends are online. Um, but, uh, you know, when I got to Nashville three years ago, almost to the day, um, as soon as I, I was in the car with Sam, just me and her, and we were talking like, we have been hanging out in person forever, and it was just awesome, and she just makes you feel awesome. I don't know even how to explain it, but she makes you feel good. Um, she is so smart. I just think Sam is so smart. She's really um, knowledgeable about a lot of things, and a lot of that comes with her, her job, you know, but um, she was obviously smart before she became a TV producer. Um, she just, like, is... She knows so much, and I like that. She also has really good instincts, and she gives incredible advice. Um, and the other two things kind of go hand in hand, but that she just opens her heart to you. And I really, it's important to me to have friends that are just willing to be open and vulnerable and um, share experiences with you. And I'm thinking of a particular conversation I had with Samantha and Kelly when they were here in Montana, and... Um, I just felt privileged, I think, privileged that she is so willing to open her heart to people and share herself. Um, and this, the last thing I have on my list of things about Sam is that she's really kind, and that goes along with all the other things, but this extends not only to Samantha, but also to her husband, David, that they are just as a couple, just so kind. When we were, um, and hospitable, obviously, but when we were in Nashville, I just felt really, you know, again, welcomed and um, just, it felt wonderful to be with her and with their, her family and all that stuff. And that comes from her upbringing too, because um, a conversation I had with Samantha's dad, um, he, you know, expressed those kinds of sentiments too, I think. They're just a kind family, all of them. Um, so I love them all. And I know this is getting long, and I'm only supposed to talk about one person, but sorry, because it's my topic. I wrote down words to describe the other three girls just because I wanted to say something. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry about the dogs. So, um, Nancy, the word, I, I have two words for Nancy, generous and hilarious. That is what I think about Nancy. Um, Kelly, you know every word I've ever said about you. It's amazing. But the word that I chose today is inspiring. Um, and Andy <laughs> is unapologetically awesome. I wish I was as confident and awesome as Andy. I love every second I spent with her when she was here for 24 hours <laughs> this summer. And it was a blast. And that's how I feel about her online, too. So, okay. Under five minutes, I'm doing it. Um, I love all of you. Sam, of course, I love you because I shared my love today. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow.